Welcome to Jebby TV. The driver of a ride alien service identified simply as Tadi recently lost his life to armed robbers who sought him dead around Abore in the Ajay area of Lagos State. Punch Metro gathered at the at the yet to be identified customer requested Tadi's service to convey him to a destination in the state and he drove down to the agreed pickup point in Badure. It was learned that immediately he got to the destination, three armed men waylaid him and while attempting to dispose him to the car and other valuables, they allegedly shot him twice. After perpetrating the crime, the armed robbers reportedly fled from the scene in Tadis vehicle. The deceased colleague who gave his name simply as Damilari said that he was tricked to the spot where he was shot dead, adding that three hoodlums were responsible for the attack. Damilari stated that they was actually killed around Badure. His service was requested and when he got to where the request emanated from, he met three hoodlums immediately. He started struggling with them, not knowing that one of them had a gun and they shot him twice and drove away in the car. From what he gathered, it appears that the hoodlums requested for his service in a bid to steal his car. That that is the trick they usually use. They will make a request for a long distance travel, like from Egbeda to Leki, and no driver will see such a request around 7 pm or 8 pm and won't want to go because it is going to fetch you over 5,000 naira. But while driving to the pickup points, they will ask you to pass through bad roads, and when you get there, you will see like three guys with guns, cutlasses and, van and knives who will suddenly appear to rob you of your phone, money and other valuables. They know that most ride hailing drivers use smartphones to walk and some of the and some of them have more than one smartphone. This is common around Egbeda. If we get a request around there, we usually tell the person to come out and if the person refuses, we will cancel it. Many of the drivers don't know this trick and that is why they usually fall victim. Damilari stated that Tade's family had taken its corpse to the village for burial, adding that people who refused to rescue him after he was shot informed one of his colleagues about what happened. He said, I cannot take a trip to Badori anytime from 6 p.m. If I am not, if I am to take the trip, I will drop the passenger at Aja or at the point where I can make the next U turn. If you like to remain in the car, I will lock my car and keep you there. The area is very bad and cost. How we got to know? about the incident was that the drivers usually have back-to-back -back conversation to check on each other so when he was shot his phone was found on him and he was still breathing when people rushed to help him the next person who called him was his friend he was asked if he had to he had got to his destination and the people informed his friend that Tade has been shot. The friend asked of the location and drove down there and drove down there to see what happened. Tade died while being rushed to the hospital. His friend said family took his corpse to the village for burial. When contacted on Sunday, the state of police, a public relation officer Muyiwa Adejobi said he would find out the and get back to our correspondent but another but when another call was put across to him 
on Monday. He said he had yet to get any information on the incident. I have not got any facts on this. I will get back to you when I have my facts further stated. Wow, this is this is serious. This is part of the issues that we face in the country. Woodlums, you know, will snatch your property and run away with it. And if they only snatch your property and run away with it, it's even better than shooting at you, taking your life for your own property. This is so pathetic. And it is uh, an outbreaking incident for the family of this innocent Uber driver who was shot dead. Uh, we pray that the family of that uh, Uber driver we we have the fortitude to, be, to bear the loss. Nonetheless, federal government and the citizen should be very very watchful of you know these hoodlums and these uh, miscreants who walk around with the aim of stealing properties. Okay, you know killing people, taking their properties away. It's a very, 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 very bad you know, thing that shouldn't be happening in a country like Nigeria. This is a place where Nigeria is a place where you know citizens' lives and properties are very, very important. Okay, and so we should keep it as such. You know, we we'll pray that the police will be able to investigate this matter and bring the perpetrators to book because the the most frustrating thing is that you know this kind of a thing can happen and nothing will in turn be done with it so the police should just not keep silent they must bring the perpetrator to book okay to serve the punishment the due punishment for their wicked acts now they have taken an innocent life they have brought a very very serious agony pain and sorrow into the family of this innocent driver which is very 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 wicked so the police must bring the perpetrators to book they must be charged to court and they must be rightly judged they must serve their time in fact the, 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 the best punishment for them is to die is to be sentenced to death because they have they have they have a murder case on ground they have taken a precious life and then they should also pay for it they should pay for it with their life too so we hope that uh the police will be able to come up with a very good and interesting story of how this thing happened and apprehending the the hoodlums so as to bring them to judgment let's know your thoughts in the comment box uber drivers are now being victims of hoodlums and attacks and stealing of their properties just drop your thoughts in the comment box let's know what you feel and what you think about this thank you